Yeah, this is Justin Olson with the Big R Fly Shop. Today I'm tying a uh, hot spot check nymph. I've been tying for a while. Works really well on free stoners. Uh, I've used it all over, especially in the in the eastern Sierras, yeah, western Sierras too. You know, Truckee River, East Carson drainage works really well. Really heavy fly, gets down fast. Good good runoff fly too, actually. Up here probably work really good on Belt Creek. It also probably work pretty good on the Dearborn and and uh, the Sun. Any any riffle run type type stream. Um, so, real heavy fly, good for runoff. Tie it, fish it. Hope it works out. Um, starting off, Partridge makes a really cool check nymph hook. You know, barbless and real you know, kind of a thick wire hook. Uh, this one I'm tying in a size 10. Caddis larvae everywhere from real small to pretty big actually so this is uh this is the, the hook I've been using lately uh, tungsten bead usually the way you go with that you know the whole point is to go down fast so in addition to that tungsten bead I like to wrap five or six wraps with some 035 lead wire uh, and this it's just this this fly is made to get down fast and, and get in front of the fish so that's the next step and then I also like to glue it in, just using some hard as hole or some flex cement or anything, just to keep this this component from spinning, you know, on the hook. After that, just kind of start your thread, wrap back a couple wraps, get it started. This is this next step is going to be the ribbing on this fly. Uh, and for the ribbing, I'm going to use 3x. This is fluorocarbon. It's just because I happen to have a bunch of it here in the shop. But uh, don't I don't suggest using fluorocarbon because it's like 15 bucks this pool, and I wouldn't put that on a on a fly. But anyway, 3x fluorocarbon for this. You can actually use four or even five. You might be able to get away with five. So and change it up with uh, every every you know. Say you make a smaller one, you know, use 5x instead of 3x. But so wrap this back, get a couple, get a couple good turns in, and then I'm using uh, Yellowstone Fly Goods uh, Scud back, and uh, this stuff, this stuff works good for a lot of things, midge bodies, and, you know, all kinds of different stuff. But uh, I like to use this stuff. So tie that in. I tie it back right to kind of right there, and uh, at this point, get my dubbing. In this case, I'm just using like an olive natural dubbing with some uh, some UV dub, kind of blended in. And I'll show. We're gonna make another video on how to blend dubbing, but this is a blend. I like to blend a lot of my dubbings to match the the bugs that I find in the river. So. You start your thread. You want this you want this bug to taper kind of evenly up to about the bead right before the bead stop get uh, black most cats larvae I find are green and then we have like a black front to them but you know just wrap forward not real not real difficult just kind of get some material in there and just make sure that front part has quite a bit. Then pull your scud back over. Fairly tight too. Make two or three wraps with your with your thread. Make sure you use this hot thread. This is one one forty uh, fluorescent orange pre waxed. But I mean, I just like this hot spot because it gives a fly a different look, and I 
Well, I think it helps somehow. Um, now start wrapping your, your monofilament forward. And like this, this 3X you can pull really tight to give it a real, real even and segmented look. and just uh, whip finish. And with this, just because you got that hot thread, just take your time, just because if you don't, it'll look like it. This is bright orange. But you just want a real consistent orange spot. I find sometimes they'll take it, they'll take, I'll fish two of these in tandem and they'll take this one over the other one for whatever reason. And then a uh, little trick on this fly, get a gun brush. I mean, I just buy a pack of a bunch of different size gun brushes and I buy brass ones and uh, nylon for different materials. But this one I use brass and just kind of give it a quick, quick brush with that. And then get a pair of scissors and just kind of trim it. I'll just take a black Sharpie or whatever and Make a line down the back, rub it off, and it'll kind of taper the color. Dry a little, rub it in. Take some hard as hole or any any head cement. Kind of just touch the front and then wipe it off and brush it back. Make a nice clear layer on the top and you're done. Hopefully it catches you lots of big fish.